an instructional video on how to attach your two and a half inch strips of fabric to your cotton clothesline. The first thing that you want to do, is, of course, is to sew all your strips together into one long strip. The next thing is to fold down the, uh, the first part of your first strip about a half an inch, maybe a little bit more. Fold the right side over to the center. Fold the left side over to the center so that they're, both sides are even. You're then going to lie the cotton clothesline in the center of that about a half an inch down from the top and you're going to fold the right side over very tightly and then the left side over nice and tightly. Temporarily you're going to place a pin right through the fabric and right through the cotton clothesline to keep it in place while you start stitching. You're going to slide this piece in under your presser foot I'm going to start with the needle in the down position. Plexiglass tables are great. They help you to give the tension that you're going to need to fold the fabric and hold it in place. Again, you're going to take your two and a half inch strip, fold one side to the center, the other side to the center, lay your fabric clothesline down, Fold the right side over nice and tightly, and then the left side over nice and tightly. Place your thumb or one of your fingers on the end to give it a little bit of tension. Then you're going to start stitching. You may have to pull a little bit with the threads in back in order to get your, your uh, seam line started. Go until you're just before the pin. Remove the pin so you don't break your sewing machine needle and continue to stitch. You are stitching with a very long uh, stitch length which I'll show you at the end. Again, you're going to fold your fabric stitch right side to the center, left side to the center, place the, the cotton clothesline on top, fold the right side very tightly around your cotton clothesline, Fold the left side tightly around the cotton clothesline. Put your thumb on it for tension. And stitch. You may have to help, help it by pulling it in back a little bit. Now I'm going to remove this from the sewing machine. And I'm going to show you a couple of things. First of all, you'll notice that the stitch line is quite long. It may be a little bit uneven. And you'll also know, notice that you'll have a few little tucks. They're fine. They're going to be uh, covered over by your zigzag. Of course, you would not use a white thread. You'd use a coordinating thread for, your, for covering the, this. But uh, for the purposes of this video, we used white thread so that you can actually see the stitches. Don't worry about these tucks. Uh, they'll be covered over by the zigzag when you make your ball. That's it.